This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. In order to defend himself against his critics, Pope Francis accused some Christians of having too much concern for the Ten Commandments, saying they suffer from cowardliness and warning that such people become paralyzed and unable to go forward. Popes have never been that concerned about keeping the Ten Commandments. That is the domain of the true followers of Jesus. In fact, those who truly love Jesus and have the Holy Spirit residing in their hearts will keep the Ten Commandments in honor of the Lord, including the Sabbath commandment. Obeying all the commandments, all of them, said the Pope, negatively, characterizing the thinking of such Christians, paralyzes you too. It makes you forget so many graces received. It takes away memory. It takes away hope because it doesn't allow you to go forward. Such people become confined souls who suffer from the sin of cowardice, the Pope added. In other words, keeping the Ten Commandments prevents progress. If you want to have hope, you cannot keep the Ten Commandments. This twisted logic is common in Roman Catholic teaching. The Pope's remarks were made during a homily in the Casa Santa Marta, where he lives in the Vatican. They appear to be in response to criticism for his support for giving the Eucharist to those who are living in adulterous second marriages, which contradicts canon law. Pope Francis recently suggested that people in these kinds of civil marriages should be able to receive the Eucharist. Some conservative cardinals have likened Francis' position to Aaronic priests who enable their flock to sin against the Ten Commandments, like the high priest Aaron in the book of Exodus, who built a golden calf to allow the Israelites to violate the first commandment. The papal position has traditionally prevented those who are not validly married and who are having sexual relations from receiving the Eucharist. Pope Francis recently compared his critics to the doctors of the law, who persecuted Jesus, observing that these men did everything prescribed by the law. Rome never really changes. The church still seeks to justify sin and teaches that you can sin and live eternally if you go to confession, of course, and receive absolution. The very beginning of the great apostasy was in seeking to supplement the authority of God by that of the church. Rome began by enjoining what God had not forbidden, and she ended by forbidding what he had explicitly enjoined. The Great Controversy, page 289 and 290. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.